Welcome back gentlemen, my name is Diego, this is Apex of Mad, and today I'm gonna be discussing three reasons why I started learning martial arts and why you need to start to to become the man you want to be. Number one, self-defense. Self-defense is not incredibly important to protect yourself and protect others in cases of tragedy and in cases of personal insecurity but there it's also incredibly important because you will gain in confidence you will gain in status you will gain in self tranquility when you go into a room go into a situation that is uncomfortable you will no longer feel that you need to boast about all this masculinity you have to to impress these other men or to try and fit into these these alpha males and you won't feel that you need to boast about your masculinity when you're around females either knowing how to defend yourself knowing that you can choke anybody out and that you have that controlled aggression within you that is kept under voluntary control will give you such mental stability and such emotional tranquility that will help push you forward into the world and allow yourself to be very centered very calm and very controlled in all situations it will give you incredible confidence like going to the gym and seeing your physical improving when your physical improve your mental also improves but knowing how to defend yourself is something that is crucial particularly in today's day and age when so many men are being so sedentary being obsessed with the internet social media video games they're they're, they're hanging there in their basements in their rooms just not going out there and not really using that aggression they're releasing this testosterone through violent video games through pornography and through all of these other outlets that are not building you. They're not building you as a man. So instead of doing that, learn how to defend yourself. Engage in martial arts, whatever it is, boxing, jujitsu is great, judo is fantastic, wrestling is also good, Muay Thai, kickboxing, whatever it is, whatever you like, try them all. Try them all. Try to mix martial arts and so you can get a, a sampling of all of the martial arts that there are. Do it because it will build you, but always be careful about the ego because when you grow, be it at the gym, physically, mentally, whatever it is, and you know how to defend yourself, the ego can follow, the ego can follow and it will destroy you. That leads me on to number two, humility. Humility is one of the most important characteristics and is the true mark of a real man. Humility is important because no one wants to hear you boasting about your money, your fame, your your grades, whatever. No one cares. No one cares. Listen to me. No one cares. Just shut up. Start being more interested in other people than always boasting about yourself. Humility is important because it will keep you straight. It will keep your mind pushing you forward. You will not settle for anything you'll always be looking for something more you'll always be looking for how to improve because you know that you are not good enough you know that you will never be good enough be it physically spiritually emotionally academically financially you know that it will never be good enough and it will keep you humble it will keep you from judging other people it will allow you to appreciate all the great characteristics and attributes that other people have that you can learn from and absorb to become better so humility is incredibly important and how do you gain humility for martial arts how is this possible is it martial arts there's all these alpha male it's kind of going around and everybody's just really egotistical and egocentric some are some are but they are looked down upon in the martial arts community jujitsu for example boxing these martial arts will make you humble because there's always someone who's better than you at the gym at the mat at the dojo these people will destroy you. I, I remember doing jujitsu last year, and when I was there, there was this, this very small woman. I'm not gonna say she was half my size, but she was very, very short, and she wasn't very built. And I remember going in, I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do this, and you know, the ego starts building. You know, I'm a man, I'm not gonna be beat up by a woman. What is it? That's crazy. And this woman just, we started going at it, we started grappling, and she just started I didn't know what happened. It was just a flash in front of me so fast that she grabbed me in a chokehold and I started tapping out because I couldn't breathe. And I said, man, that, wow, <laughs> that was absolutely crazy. I felt completely humiliated, completely humiliated, but it changed my mindset. It doesn't matter what someone looks like. It doesn't matter if it's a man, if it's a woman, if, he, if he's seven feet tall and built or if he's scrawny and maybe five foot 11, he could be a beast. They could be a black belt in jujitsu for all you know, man. Khabib is a small guy. Connor is a small guy. These people can destroy the living hell out of you and you would have no idea. So it keeps you humble. It doesn't allow that that alpha male ego to, to surface and to come out and to make you 
stupid and to not allow you to see situations and actually engage in situations and evaluate situations effectively because you know that your ego is controlling not your mind not your mind not what is actually supposed to be controlling all those decisions so start practicing martial arts they will keep you humble they will create so many positive attributes within you that will absolutely affect all of the aspects of your life Finally, number three, creating a tribe. Creating a tribe is very important for men. We live in a society that's very atomized. We live in a society where men are very individual and they're not creating communities anymore. That's why the army is also such a good outlet for men because it creates a tribe and you build very deep relationships. It's the same in martial arts. Martial arts create very deep connected relationships because you're, you're bonding with men through hardship, suffering, sacrifice, humiliation, real hard work these are the the most effective conditions in which to build a group in which to create a tribe and these men will will if you build proper relationships man and the mat these people will stay with you for the rest of your life because you've been there you suffered together you've choked each other out you've been on the verge of knocking each other out and knocking someone unconscious many many times but you respect the tap you respect the tab, you have all these codes that keep you together in that framework, allowing you to develop violently and aggressively and as men, but within a controlled framework of rules and of ethics that is so incredibly important to the development of an individual. So if you're looking for a tribe, if you're looking to develop yourself, if you know that your ego is out of line, which we all know it's true, and if you're looking to understand how to defend yourself and really gain in, in measurable confidence and not in a false ego alpha male kind of thing that's going on and you want to control your emotions and be able to control your mind and your soul, join martial arts. I cannot recommend it highly enough. That's it for me for today, gentlemen. Those were the three reasons why I joined martial arts. I've been doing jujitsu and boxing for, for quite a few years now and it's changed my life in ways that I cannot even describe. So you need to join today. See you next time.